I, I keep moving away from Maui. Let's go back to Maui okay, and okay. the project. You're in it's, the uh, in the um, study portion of the project. Yeah, the, the pre-development phase, okay. and um, the location is is um, whilst it's not uh, absolutely firm, it, it's almost uh, certain to be in the the northern uh, part of the main bit of Maui. The, okay. the, the, the Haleakala part rather than the, the, the uh, smaller volcano on the, in West Maui. Uh, so directly to the, uh, uh, the sort of the most northern point or thereabouts, um, some, still some miles away from, from Jaws, but uh, okay. in that general vicinity and between Jaws off, and, and Kahului. And then offshore of, of a ways. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, quarter mile, half a mile. That's, uh, okay. that, that's the studies that we need to do will determine what depth and uh, and therefore what distance offshore. Now, how long are those going to take you? And I guess what I'm saying is, I would like to go out to the um, event where a switch is flipped. Oh yeah, that, that will <laughs> still be a little while yet because um, we have to do these pre-development activities, uh, geotechnical studies, bathymetric studies, mm -hmm. um, interconnection studies. You know, how do we run the cable out? Um, you know the permitting process has to be followed, and we're, we're certainly not trying to short circuit that. And we have to address that's everything that uh, that needs to be addressed in that regard. Um, so, and the permitting process can be quite um, quite lengthy uh, at the federal level, at least. Um, I think the state level is quite well defined. Some mm -hmm. of them, some of those uh, tasks do take some time, but at least you know. They're defined well, so you know how long they're going to take. Uh, at the federal level, I think it's a little bit more unknown. But um, so, uh, when that f uh, switch is flicked, I, I can't really tell you when that'll be because it's it's heavily dependent on on how long it takes for the permitting process, but also the the funding process too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we really need to put to get the the funding in the bag before uh, full on construction starts because it, it would be um, a little uh, sort of remiss of us, I think, a lot remiss of us to uh, to start constructing w without knowing mm. that the money is there. You know, because we don't want to get partway through uh, construction and find we run out of money. Well, so with the stimulus package and with the um, ARA, the American Recovery Something Act, um, mm. there is money there, and President Obama has uh, included ocean technology. Yes, I, I noted that, which so. is excellent. I, I went back to. Um, with a team of people to brief his um, transition team in December before he took okay. office. And we very, very well, it was a very a wonderful group of environmentalists, utilities, um, scientists, and uh, some from the industry, some from with projects. And we all pulled together, which uh, made the transition team sit up and take notice because a lot of times utilities and environmentalists are at each other's throats. Mm. So they were very interested in it. We put together um, a principles document that now has been presented before a committee in Congress. And uh, I think things are going to move ahead to mm. get the federal log jam broken. And because we, the last thing we want is the federal government to come out and cause a log jam within our state waters. Mm. Yeah. And our state waters is where your, your uh, project will be located. Yeah, definitely definitely within state waters, not federal waters. So. Right. But yeah, um, I, I do believe though that there's still a federal requirement for permitting, but um, hopefully that won't uh, be, uh, won't cause a, a, a bottleneck of any sort with the with the project. Um, it shouldn't now. I mean, yeah, I think this yeah. is moving and yeah, Congress the, the is well aware are good. of it. The signs are good mm -hmm. and, and it's just a matter of, of getting uh, you know, sensible and competent people to make sure that the, you know, all the boxes are ticked and, and sure. so on. So uh, I'm quietly confident. Certainly looking better all the time. It's um, you know compared to say 10 years ago, there really wasn't much in place anywhere, not just here in the U.S. but in, in mm -hmm. other countries either, uh, that helped to facilitate technologies like this. I think everyone was quite comfortable with with the status quo with oil as right. it was and. Uh, um, you know, now uh, not only is there, uh, as you, you're aware, problems with um, with supply and and, and um, oh, definitely here. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it, you, you it's have, a security issue. Yeah, secure. Absolutely it, yeah. for Hawaii. Yeah. Our and oil is cut off, and our we just 
stop. Mm. And, and uh, I mean, some people may argue against this, but th those in the know ten uh, mostly agree that um, you know, in a few decades, uh, there's whilst there'll still be some oil, there won't be enough to to um, to fuel the world as it's currently mm -hmm. fueled, mm -hmm. and uh, that's when you know we better c have come up with a, an alternative by then because. Um, that's, uh, that's when we'll see some really bad mm -hmm. uh, things happening in the economy.